Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial for railroads. Uh, what I'm going to attempt to show is something I've recently discovered and I'm currently calling single gate glitch. Um, it's something that allows you to rake up money really quickly um, and basically what it does is it allows you to build a track between two cities and you build a depot so that you can transport um, you know goods between those two cities. Uh, however the train doesn't actually ever leave the first city, it kind of just goes, you know, it flips backwards and flips forwards back and forth, um, more or less instantly dropping off whatever resources you're telling it to. Um, so the way that I've uh, found you do this is I usually build a second track at whatever city I'm starting at. I build a track to the city that I'm trying to get to, so in this, state, in this case I'm going from um, Eloy over here to Flagstaff. Uh, you build the, the track almost all the way to the green circle here, this indicator about where the you know the, the city starts and stops, almost all the way there, not quite. And then soon after you build the track, you want to build a depot. If you wait too long, the depot will um, build a gate at Flagstaff so that the train can't instantly go back and forth. If you do it too quick, uh, the track won't actually exist yet, and you'll get a little air noise. And then, and then by the time you can actually attempt to build it again, uh, it'll be too late. So there's a sweet spot for timing on when you build the depot. Um, so I'm going to try to get it here. And if I do, great. And if not, I will um, reset and try it a couple times. Um, so if the video splices, uh, that's why. So here we go. So I think I got that, right? We see this one gate here. It's hard to tell until I unpause. I'll unpause now. See, this is perfect. So this worked. I have a depot here. Only have one gate, and we can tell we also have this, you know, like weird concrete track-looking thing, only on on one side. So now, if I build a train between Flagstaff and Eloy, I usually do two passengers and a mail. We will watch it go here. I'm also going to go ahead and uh, upgrade this just to get a little more money for my passengers and my mail. So we watch this train here. Boom. 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 Right, really quick back and forth, dropping off uh, the passengers in the mail. So you can see, oh, hello, you can see every time this happens, at least one passenger car and one mail car does actually get filled up. Um, <clears throat> so like it, it is constantly generating revenue, even though it's not necessarily um, like it doesn't look like there's any passengers or mail at these cities, right? It does at least fill up one of the cars, so that's good. Um, the reason I keep three cars on this is if you have less than three cars, it actually kind of drives a little bit as opposed to just flipping around back and forth. I'll show you that here. I'll take off these cars. And watch it actually drive to this and then turn around. So it still has, you know, obviously an incredibly short travel time um, between these two cities. But it's even faster if you have the cars to make it take up enough space so that, that it just flips back and forth. Um, so again, to recap, uh, all I really did there was uh, built a track in a certain position, right? We want it close to the screen circle, but not quite all the way there. Uh, and then you build a depot, um, not instantly, but pretty soon after after pressing that track. Now, I know that's not accurate or exact or anything like that, um, but it, uh, it appears to be um, you know, definitely less than a second between placing the track and actually building the depot. So it takes a little bit of time. Um, there's been times where I swear I do it at the exact same time every time, like every attempt, and it happens and works half the time and doesn't work the other half the time. So I'm still learning about this. I'm still trying to figure it out. Um, so I would certainly love for some more folks to you know, give it a shot as well and, and l let us know what you find. Um, you know, Maybe there's some more to this that we didn't know. Uh, maybe there's ways to get it more consistent. Um, so I'd be very interested in, in seeing what other folks have to say about this. So um, let me know. Uh, feel free to drop a you know comment in the video here, or stop by uh, the the subreddit or speedrun.com um, to chat about this. Uh, hopefully that makes some sense. And uh, feel free to go back and you know slow it down, and watch it in super slow mo. You can see the timing and um, the actual quote unquote mechanics. Not that there's a lot of mechanics there. All you're doing is clicking to place the track, pressing B to bring up the depot placement and then clicking to actually place said depot so
that's all there really is to it. It's frankly not that complicated, just kind of learning to get the timing down. And obviously having a, you know, a scenario where this works, you know, you got to have two cities with, with mail and passengers to actually get this to be useful for you at all. So uh, thanks again for watching, and talk to you guys later.